Alrighty, everybody. I have some really interesting news to tell you all. So, this is going to sound pretty interesting, but after the long break of not collecting radios, I'm finally collecting more. I am collect- I'm gonna be getting five radios. Yeah, you heard that right. Five radios I'm getting at once. And I'm gonna explain what they are. So the first one is the Radio Shack Weather Cube, also known as the 12-500. The second one is basically to replace my version 4 WR300, which is a version 5 Deluxe. I honestly wish it was a version 8, but a version 5 Deluxe is gonna have to do. So it's to replace my version 4 um, you know, the antenna, I don't know if you guys have, no I don't know if you guys knew this, but the antenna on my version 4 broke. Ever since then, the reception has not been cooperating, so I eventually put it out of service. I'm going to be getting a replacement for it. It still works, but the reception is just not so great. So, therefore, I put it out of service, because what's the point of having it out if it's just going to show Mason? Oh my god, my pronunciation is so through the roof right now. What's the point of having it out if it's just going to mainly show static and like little to no signs of reception? So yeah, so I put it out of service. So therefore, I'm going to be getting another one. The next one is an, it, it's an unusual brand. It's, um, it's an Oregon Scientific WR601N, which is a yellow handheld which is similar to this, the 74250C, um, that is pretty much broken, because if you put batteries in it, it immediately kills them, so this radio is, it has problems, um, so yeah, also known as the banana, so yeah, it's similar to that, but it's an Oregon Scientific, that's basically the only difference, and it also comes with a charging cradle, um, and an adapter, and a belt clip, so, yeah, so that's that one, and then, and then the other two are Accurite radios, the first one is the handheld Accurite, the black handheld Accurite radio, the, um, 8550RX, I'm gonna be getting that radio, as well as the, um, 08505RX, um, so, yeah, and then, yeah, so, did I just, so, yeah, so, Oregon Scientific, Weather Cube, Midland, wait, Oregon Scientific, Weather Cube, Oregon Scientific, too accurate, okay, yeah, okay, so, yeah, so, that's the five radios that I'll be getting, um, really looking forward to seeing them, and I am also really looking forward to getting that WR300 replacement, because, um, because I'm going to be honest with you, the Midland WR300 is my favorite radio, because, like, literally, it's the best radio, and considering the fact that the version 4, the version 4's antenna broke, like, literally, it's broke, like, 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 I'll, like, literally, this is as far as I can put it up, yeah, not that long. Like, see that? Right there. Yeah. It it doesn't go up that. It Like, it doesn't... Like, it's broken. The antenna broke on it, so therefore... I'm gonna be getting a new one because the reception on the version 4, it's, it's, it's just gone. So, yeah. But anyways. Hopefully the version 5 Deluxe will treat me better with activating. Unlike the version 4 where it gave me a hard time the first time. With activating, I'm pretty sure the version 5 Deluxe is, um, I'm pretty sure the decoder's better on it, right? Is it? I know Charlotte EAS has a version 5 Deluxe. Um, I've heard, I heard that it activated for every single alert in his collection video. So, honestly, I have high hopes. I have high hopes for my version 5 Deluxe when it comes. So, uh, yeah. But anyways... That's all I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as you can see, the the flood warning is no longer there on the radios. Um, 
Yeah, um, earlier this morning, there was a flood warning that came out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, here it is right here on the 1630. 11.13 a.m. It was issued. Flood warning. But now it's gone. It, 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 it expired two hours ago. So, yeah. But anyways. Also. No more check operation on the 262 at least. Because it activated for the FLW. So I guess that's good news. At least I don't have to see Check OP anymore on the 262. Hopefully I won't have to for a while because it's spot. Because the, the spot that it's in right now, it's the best reception in the world. So, yeah. So hopefully it activates tomorrow for the RWT. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to go now. I'll see you guys later.